Whether it's in the form of protesting, singing out of emotion, or painted canvases of Breonna Taylor being held high. So I think of art as a reflection of our, of our social, political, and economical reality. Art is protest, and all art is political in some way or another, whether it wants to be or not. Racial injustice and art have coincided for hundreds of years. Right here in Louisville, it's been on display for months over the death of Breonna Taylor. So all the things that we're even seeing now with the resistance with Breonna Taylor, this is mirroring um, the, the civil unrest that uh, uh, black folks have brought to the, not just to America, but to the entire world. This panel on Thursday is part of the Kentucky College for Arts and Design's Cara Walker series, a renowned black artist whose work depicts slavery. Because of COVID restrictions, the public can't see her exhibit in person at the college. It's a really, really big issue. So I'll have a lot of college students come in my class and they've never heard of the black arts movement in the 70s. From the Harlem Renaissance to the black arts movement in the 1970s, Dr. Kayla Story, a professor at UofL, says history paints a clear picture. It's going to take more than current protests or exhibits to make a real change going forward. And if we don't have empathy with one another, if we can't put ourselves in one another's shoes, then we're never going to be able to change things. Shaquille Lord, WLKY News.